Chainmail was a popular form of armor during the medieval period, but its origins are much older. The Celts are credited with its invention, but there are also examples of Etruscan pattern mail dating back to the 4th century BCE. The Romans adopted chainmail following interactions with the Celts, and the technology spread throughout Africa and Asia. There are records of both samurai and ninja wearing forms of chainmail. Chainmail is a collection of interwoven rings. The rings can be made from a variety of materials, but most commonly were made from iron, bronze, or steel. Chainmail is great for protecting the wearer from slashes, but had limited capacity to withstand arrows or strong thrusts. The rings are arranged in a pattern intended to create the utmost strength and stability against impact. The negative space inside of each ring pattern resembles a honeycomb, proving that humans continue to be inspired by the wonders of nature. Many forms of armor were developed by looking at animals with an exoskeleton as protection of their soft internal bodies. The most common pattern of chainmail is the four-in-one, where each individual ring connects to four others. Can you see the pattern? After each of our presentations, we must maintain our equipment. This includes repairing our chainmail. One of the challenges of maintaining chainmail is actually finding the problem. Can you see any rust or holes? Once all the issues have been found, then the repair process can start. It begins by preparing new rings to fill the holes. Then each hole must be filled by replacing the missing rings, keeping the 4-in-1 pattern intact. Sometimes this is easy, sometimes it is not. The most challenging area by far are the armpits, as that area is a convergence of the pattern from numerous angles. Each individual ring must be pried open, fit into place using the pattern, and then pried shut with as small an opening in the ring as possible. This requires regular flexing of the chainmail piece to ensure things are lining up, otherwise errors can be made. The entire process can be long, tiring, and at times frustrating, but it is essential to ensure our safety during our historical martial arts demonstrations. Once all the repairs are complete, we polish the armor to provide a protective coating to prevent the metal from rusting.